So, Lachelle, you was actually in Vegas the weekend Tupac was killed. Take me through everything that took place from your point of view, leading up to Tupac getting shot and when it was announced that he passed away. Well, um, like I said, um, t um, actually, Mike Tyson had called me to get Pac's information because he wanted to use a Pac song to come out on. So um, I ended up connecting them, you know, so they can do that. So uh, me and some of my girls, we drove down to Vegas, as we always do, you know, got us a room, um, basically just chilled, you know. If we were like maybe seven, eight deep, some stuff like that, you know, chilling. I think we stayed at the, what was that? What was that hotel? Was that the Monte Carlo? I think we stayed in the Monte Carlo then. So, it, cause that was like right across the street from the uh, MGM, not too far from the MGM. So that day we went over there and we were over there chilling um, as we do all the time. So Pocket called me and told me that they had made it or whatever, whatever. So um, I hadn't talked back to him then. By now we just in the casino walking around doing what we do. I see Pac, so he's at the table. It's him, um, the outlaws, and they're just there and they're gambling. And um, I think it was at, at a crap table in MGM, like towards the back. And um, he had that, the same shirt that he had on that they showed the pictures of him when he got shot that day and what he had on when we had the fight with Orlando, he had that shirt on. And um, he was standing there, he was like, so what's up, what's up, what's up, what you gonna do? Y'all ain't coming with us? Y'all ain't coming with us? And I'm gonna tell you, there's not been a time that I've seen Pac and me and Pac, I met Pac in what, 92, 93, when um, he was on, on the, uh, with uh, Digital Underground, and he did, you know, and he was on same song when he did the same song with them. Clown around with the underground when it come around. So, you know, I met him back then. So before he even dropped any of his own projects. So me and Pac was like that. And I fucked with Pac while he was in jail, you know. We talked and all that shit. So um, <laughs> he was like, you not coming? You not coming? And I was like, <coughs> You know, we still got to go get dressed. You know, we got on what we had on earlier, you know, walking around. We ain't got dressed or whatever. He's like, oh, y'all play too much. Well, we'll see y'all later at 662. And it was just a trip because I can just remember that day of turning around and just seeing him and he was looking back. And I was like, what, what punk? What you looking at? You know, I don't know. I guess it was that as they say that last minute look, you know, it was like, it was the last minute look. You know, it was, I don't, you know, because after that, that next thing I know that it happened. So we went to our room, we got dressed and um, we walked in the MGM and we seen like people scouring, people running and shit like that. We was like, what the fuck is going on? You know, like what happened, what happened? So we coming through and a friend of mine um, that was with me, uh, she saw her baby daddy and um, he was like, fuck, fuck them niggas Shug and Pac them. They just got into it with Orlando and woo, 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 woo. So I hear him say this, but yo, I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, what the fuck that happened? You know, like, okay, here comes some bullshit that always end up happening. What the fuck that happened? So, um, Everybody was like, I don't know, they was fighting and woo woo. So I'm like, well, okay, well, shit. Ain't no need of us coming over here to the MGM for the fight because they done cleared everybody out. You know, security and police was walking through the MGM clearing everybody out. So we was like, okay, well, let's just uh, go back over to our hotel till we hear something from anybody, you know? What was the deal? So I had made a couple of calls. I think I called Suge phone. I think I might have called Park phone or something like that, nobody had answered or whatever. So I was just sitting there waiting around. And then all I know is I think it was my cousin called me and said that he had heard that Pac and Suge got shot. And I was like, hell no. Nah. 
Hell no, nah. ain't nobody called me and said that. He was like, no, nah, no, nah, for real, for real, Shell. For real, they said them niggas got shot. And I'm like, hell no. Nah. So I started calling on my phone, trying to make some calls. And I don't know who it was that I called, but uh, I had talked to somebody and they was like, yep, yeah, they did get shot. And I remember and I was like, oh shit. So I called my grandmother, which was with, she was with Suge's mom. And I called her and she said, yeah, that somebody just had called Maxine and told Maxine that Pac and Suge had got shot. So I just remember I was in my hotel room. I was mad as fuck. I just knocked shit down off the thing. And I was like, fuck that, fuck that, man. This shit get on my nerves. I hate <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. I was like, I hate this dumb shit. Why these niggas always gotta be fighting on some dumb shit? Now niggas done got shot and shit. And I just remember, and I just told my friends, I was like, come on y'all, let's go home. I was just so mad, I just wanted to go home. I didn't even wanna go to the hospital. I didn't wanna see Pac like that. I didn't wanna see nothing. I just wanted to go home. So we got in the car and we drove back home. So, um, by, you know, now the news is talking about it and saying what kind of condition, you know, he was in or whatever. And, you know, people was like, is he going to make it? Is he going to miss that? So we was just praying and praying. And I remember um, that it was that Friday. That Friday night we had went out. Or was it a Thursday? It was either Thursday or Friday night. I can't remember the date exactly. We had went out. Remember Warren G was at the club. Um, KC and JoJo. Uh, corrupt. It was a couple of us like out at the club and the DJ had been playing all park music or whatever. And I just remember somebody came over and said, Park died tonight. Man, when they said Pac died, it was like the whole motherfucking club just started boo-hoo crying. The DJ couldn't even get it out. All you seen was grown-ass men just boo-hoo crying. It was like, it was like they had to shut down the club. We all had to just leave, you know? It was like, we all left and I'll never forget it was me, Jewel, some more of our friends. We had went to um, KC and JoJo's house at the time and uh, Corrupt was there. And um, JoJo just came in and JoJo was crying and Joel and JoJo was just crying and nobody couldn't even, they was up against the bathroom door on the floor crying, just booing. We couldn't even push the bathroom door open because Joel and JoJo was on the floor just crying. Corrupt was crying. We, was, I mean, it was, we was fucked up. We was fucked up. I'll never forget that night. And I just remember, I just had that thing where, you know, like I said, you know, it wasn't Shug's fault, but it was like I was mad at him. You know, like it should, if Pac wouldn't have came over there to death row. You know, I just had so many what ifs and this, that, this, that. But you know, I had to realize in life you can't question God of why things go that way because, you know, he saved him before. If he wanted to save him again, he could have did that, you know. So I just had to not question God and, you know, just deal with it. And it hurt it. It hurt. It still hurt. It still hurts. It still hurts.